For the next couple weeks, Joan and I are in Bluntsville, Tennessee. That's right outside of Bristol and between Bristol, Kingsport, Johnson City. They call it the Tri-Cities and Rocky Top Campground. Joan's looking for snow. We're just gonna have some fun. Well, hi, it's Jerry. Joan and I are at Rocky Top Campground in Bluntsville, Tennessee. If you look in Bluntsville, Tennessee, it's uh, right on the edge of Kingsport. They call it the Tri-Cities area. Bristol, Kingsport, Johnson City, uh, Tri-City, right up in the northern eastern part of Tennessee, just a few minutes from the Virginia line. Matter of fact, half of Bristol's in Virginia and the other half's in Tennessee. Uh, but we're here at Rocky Top Campground. Boy, what a nice, nice campground. Uh, this thing is really exceeded our expectations. It is so nice. One thing that's interesting now for you, those of you who have kids, uh, this is an adult only campground. Uh, the first one of these that we've stayed in, you have to be over 18 to stay here. And um, the rules are hard and fast, um, but that's just what it is. Um, that doesn't harm Joan or I at all. <laughs> we have exceeded the 18 year old line uh, quite a bit. But the campground's really nice. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour here and show you some of the area. Uh, it is really well maintained. Uh, prices are very reasonable for the area that we're located in. Um, and uh, the staff here is super, super friendly. And um, it is really, really nice. I think you're gonna be kind of impressed with it. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna start at the bottom side down here and work my way back around and just show you what this area looks like. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, this is a little cabin here with many, many, many tags located here. You can come and stretch your legs if you want to and uh, enjoy a warm day in the rocking chair. Yep, uh, they used to have a pay telephone here a long time ago and now it's ended up being just that. But uh, for those of you that don't know, look at this thing. Oh, wow, that is old, old, old. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a very antique washing machine. Goodness gracious, Granny. But uh, real, real nice, you can get your firewood here and they've, you can get your ice. And then uh, they've got some basic items inside. If you're wondering about amenities here in the area, there's not a lo whole lot at this exit, but only about four miles down the road from here is uh, Kingsport uh, is the next exit down. And in Kingsport, you've got your Walmarts, your Ingalls, uh, plenty of shopping areas. Uh, we found an excellent Mexican restaurant down there that we ate uh, the night we got here after a long tow. Plenty of things down there to be able to um, meet your uh, either immediate or long-term needs. So, um, you know, it's, it's really convenient. We haven't gone up to Bristol yet. We'll probably be going up there this weekend and uh, checking out a few things. Uh, there's some fun things to do there in the area and in a restaurant, a Greek restaurant that uh, I'm dying to go to. <laughs> yeah, in Bristol, Tennessee, I know. Um, but that's where it's at. And uh, so we'll be going up there and I think uh, it'll, it'll be a fun time. So I'll be showing you bits and pieces of that and uh, life in the new Montana as we go forward. Well, we, uh, we left the store. There was a bunch of folks in there. I just decided it probably wasn't best to uh, film that. But uh, if you do go into the store, they do have some basic needs, um, various beverages, fresh eggs. Uh, I think they uh, get those from a local farmer. They have fresh eggs in there. And people were stopping by here locally getting their fresh eggs. You can get your firewood, things like that. And of course, up here, up here on the hill, where we're getting ready to go. They, they've got propane as well. The campground takes a big loop uh, going in from where you saw the store up there a few minutes ago. And then you can see how the loop goes up there. I think they're adding about four campgrounds here. And I just want you again to just see how big these camping sites are. Really, really, really nice. And especially for the price. They're super, super reasonable. Very, very nice. And then again, regardless of what you're pulling into, if you, you know, you got the class C or class A, Class B, uh, you can pull right here and get your propane tanks filled. They've got that on site. And um, nice, just a nice, nice campground. And then we're down here at the bottom of the loop. I'll start off by showing you where our campground is located here or our campsite is located here. Now, just to kind of give you a reference of how big these sites are, that especially the ones that we're in, we're in a large pull through. Uh, this camper that we're in, our Montana, 
uh, is 42 feet long and we're towing it with a F-350 Super Duty long bed. That's all, you know, I know we're almost 60 feet long when we hook up. So uh, we fit in here with no problem so ever. Super easy access. Let me show you uh, our camping spot. We have, we're not using a picnic table. Matter of fact, today is warm. It's like 66. It's the warmest that we've had since we've been here. But all the sites are newly graveled. The, the maintenance here is just really spectacular. They do a fantastic job. But you can see here, here I'll back up. And you can see we have no trouble fitting in here. And then we've got a little extra space here, which we have no issue. And then a nice concrete pad that we don't have anything to worry about. They do provide us with fire rings. Um, we don't use charcoal grills. We bring a gas grill along with us. So, um, but they do provide those. Here, I'll show you the back here as well. So here's the back side. You know, we decided to park here. We pulled the camper a little bit forward uh, just so our slides wouldn't bump up against the trees and so forth. And again, uh, you know, here's a slot right over here. We're in, this is position 31. This is site 31. And uh, you can see over here, here's site 32. They pulled out this morning. And you can just see how big these pull-throughs are. They're really nice, really, really nice. I would, I, I would, I would guess probably somewhere in, in the size of maybe 70 feet. And that's a guess. I haven't put a tape to it, but about 70 feet. I'll walk here along the side and just show you where we have our full hookups. Um, it's uh, mid-February, mid mid-February, and it has been cold. Oh, gosh, it's been cold. We've even had snow here. Not today. Today it's 66 degrees. But, uh, you know, they got cable here. We're not using that. Um, we use uh, Wi-Fi and YouTube TV and that type of stuff right now. And, uh, but we have 50 amp, uh, no problem. Uh, I think they have 30 amp in here and 20. They do, 30 amp and 20. Uh, water, Wi-Fi, cable, full hookup, sewer, and um, it's just a comfortable spot. And you know, the sites are not that close together. Um, we have a good bit of privacy. Now again, it's in the winter. They've already done all their winter trimmings. So, um, you know, the grasses here will grow and get big, be pretty. It's a pretty campsite. You can see roughly how far apart we are. Not too bad. They have a number of pull-throughs here. Uh, they do offer, you know, you can check out the website. I'll, I'll leave a link on the blog and down in the description for the website. Uh, rates change, you know, so many things change that I just don't quote those anymore. But I found the prices to be very, very reasonable. You can see down through here from 29 down, 29, 30, 31 where we're at, 32, 33. All nice, big, long pull-throughs, no problem whatsoever. We're kind of down in a bottom here. You know, if you look up here toward the top, uh, right up here is the uh, laundry facilities that they have. And then right over here, well, I'll show you that. They have propane. We've already used that. We've dumped 30 pounds of propane in the cold here already. But nice big sites, quiet, clean. Uh, just the, the maintenance here is just incredible. Even, even in the colder months, they're out here you know, working on the gravel sites. Um, they've got back ends here as well. And uh, I found the staff, the management that runs this is just super, super nice and helpful. And um, certain sites are set up for long term. We'll walk up here in a second. They've got a pavilion up here. I guess they have certain activities up here from time to time. But they're putting in new campsites, uh, quite a few. So, uh, I think that'll be nice. You can actually see the guys over there working right now, putting in a new campsite. So they're putting in quite a few. Now, again, I don't know what is long-term and what's not, but here, let me just show you this. Look how clean and neat and well-maintained. Uh, you can look here. Oh, look, they're getting ready to start planting. Um, new bushes and so forth at the end. Again, they make this so, so, so very nice. We're really impressed with the campground. If you look right up here, right up in that area, they've got several cabins here in the area. I'm walking kind of backwards from the campground. We're located down there in the bottom. And it's called Rocky Top for a reason. We are definitely uh, kind of in a very hilly area. And, you know, when you come into a campground like this, one of the things I'm always concerned about, especially when it's as steep as it is here, pulling a heavy fifth wheel, dually truck, um, is it paved? Yes, uh, it's paved. 
most of your uh, in-ramp and off-ramps into the sites, even though they're graveled, they're paved. But again, you can see this, uh, all big fifth wheels, just super big rig friendly. No problem whatsoever getting in and out. It's a small campground. Um, I think less than 40 sites, but they are adding. And uh, I don't know how many, but they are adding. So you can kind of look at that, but isn't it pretty? Very, very nice campground. Just walking around the campground. Uh, we'll finish up the video here. Again, this place is nice. I mean, I, I really like it. Uh, we will probably be back here at uh, some point in time in the near future. Um, the management uh, stepped into the store, just super, super friendly. Several local that's staying here, a couple full timers. And uh, we just had the uh, best conversation. Super friendly, nice people. Um, extraordinarily well maintained. Uh, they're expanding, putting in new sites. Um, I hear that uh, the venue up here, uh, that big pavilion area, they're gonna be having live music here when it gets warmer, things like that, just to make the stay a little bit more entertaining. All right, we're back at the new Montana and the big gray wonder. I hope you get a chance, if you come up into the Bristol, Kingsport, Johnson City, Tri-City area, and you're looking for a nice campground, and remember, uh, the folks have to be 18 or older to stay here. Uh, you might want to consider Rocky Top Campground in Bluntsville, the little community of Bluntsville. And um, reasonable price, pretty camp spots, and um, I really like it. But you know what I like more? Yeah, you got that right. I love RV life.